Hey guys, it's Tim here and uh, today I'll be reviewing Imagely, which is a design software that you can use to create designs for your Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, uh, website, wherever you need a design, you can design it with Imagely. Now I'm going to do full review, but in case you're interested, there is a link in the description of this video where you can pick this up. It will redirect you to my website where you can see more information about the pricing, also some upgrades if you pick this up through my link and some coupons as well. Make sure to use those coupons in case you pick it up uh, Yeah, in the description. All right, let's dive into this and let me show you how you can create designs with Imagely. So right now I'm logged into the dashboard and as you can see here, uh, you can see the designs that I created with the software. You can see some latest templates, some popular templates, etc. But basically it works really simple. You click on create new design and from here you can start creating or picking one of the templates and start designing. So uh, you simply go over the left menu here where you have all the different categories. So for example, webinar or typography, marketing here, when you see this, and when you scroll down, you will see all the templates that you can use for marketing, story, uh, YouTube covers, general here, uh, podcast, business. So as you can see here, there are a lot of categories that you can choose from here. Um, yeah, if you want to create your design, home and living, for example, uh, well, this is a single image. So some categories have more than other categories, but yeah, that's how it works. So let's say we want to create a YouTube cover. Then you can see here all the different templates that you can choose from. So let's just pick one and yeah, go with that one. So let's say we want to use this one. You simply select that cover. And here you can see this is the design that we can start modifying. Now this is the editor that you're seeing in here and it works really simple. So we start at the top here. You have the top bar where you can add all of your elements. So for example, if you want to add an image, you click on image and from here you can search for anything. So you can say uh, makeup here, for example, and it will show you a database of images, royalty free images that you can use for your designs. And if you like one, you can simply pick one, you click on accept and then it will be added to your design. And you can start uh, yeah, designing the rest of your design here. Now, also you can add text elements by clicking in the text. There's even a countdown if you want to add a countdown to your, to your uh, design. So basically how it works is when you export your designs, you first need to save this. Uh, you have the option here uh, to export this as an MP4, an animated PNG, a G, uh, GIF file, uh, PNG, and all these other formats. So there is an option to um, add timers like this and also animation to your designs as well. Now, let me remove this to show you all the other things. Because here we have the other design tools, as you can see. So you can draw on your picture. So you can literally uh, make your own drawings if you like to. And then you can remove, uh, move these drawings. And you can even change the colors as well. So let's say you want to have this drawing another color. You can change that in here, as you can see. Um, I don't like to draw, uh, but... It is an option if you like to. You can add horizontal lines if you need that. So that's nice for different kinds of designs. If you like to add that, you simply select it and then you draw on your design and then you can move that wherever you like to have that. Uh, and of course, also change the colors, etc., of that design. Here, let's say we want to have this a little bit pinky. Here we can do that apply. And now this has become a pink, a pink one. Apply. Let's shoot. Let's choose another color. Uh, yellow. No, it doesn't work for for these ones for the separate. So these key will stay black. What I wanted to show you actually is the layers part. So right now this image is on top of the text here, uh, but you can drag these here in the layers. Uh, when I scroll down here, I can move this down here and look what happens now. Uh, the text is on top of this image. So it has all the layers in here. And another option that you will find here is, let's say we select this layer in here. What you can do is you can go to this layer here and you can click on this icon here and then you will be able to add animation as well. So when I click on this plus icon in here, I can say, for example, I want to start this at, uh, at, at the start at zero seconds and it needs to, 
uh, the duration needs to be one second. And then I can choose from different animations in here. So for example, if I wanna do a zooming entrance, for example, I can click on save. And now uh, this will be animated when I export this as a video or a GIF file. So when I click on play, it should animate here. Let me try that again. Well, probably that will be in the export then, but you will be able to animate these elements so that it zooms up if you like to. Um, these are the options. Now, this is one of the options. Uh, here's another one which I like. I like this polygon in here because this allows you to draw nice elements yourself. So when I click on here, for example, look at this. I'm gonna set a point in here, a point in here. Look look what I'm doing here. And now I'm hitting escape and look what, what happens. I created this small design here, but what I can do actually is I can set a stroke here. And let's say I wanna add a white stroke. Let me apply this. Now you can see there is a white stroke in here. And let me set the background color here to transparent. Now look what happens when I apply this it actually fits the design. Do you see that? So this has been created for me already, but you can design these yourself as well. You can draw these things yourself as well into your designs, which makes it uh, really nice to create some nice designs. Now you can also add uh, these elements like a round here. You can do that and you can change the colors obviously as well. So if you wanna make this white, you can do that uh, to add this to your design. You can move some things around here let me remove this one actually, because we're not gonna use that. And then here, move this part, move that part, and let's put that round in here so that we have this circle a little bigger here. So you can see you can add this, all these elements, so also a square, if you'd like to add that, you can do that as well. You simply draw wherever you would like to use that, then you set the color, and then you can move these things around in the layers part in here. So if you wanna move this one uh, more to the bottom here, let me see where this one is. Oh, this is the pad, it's on top of course. You move this to the bottom here, you can see now we move this to the back. Now, don't mind my designs, they don't look very nice here. It's just to show you the available options. So that's all in the top here. Now, another thing that you can do here is you can go to the library scene here where you can also animate elements. So as you can see here, it wobbles here. You have all these different things. So when you select an element, you can say, I wanna apply this to this image as well. You can say apply, and now this will be applied to this image. Another thing that you can add is video FX here. These are also moving elements. So when you click on this, it will be added to your design and yeah, uh, wherever you would like to add this, you can do that as well. In this case, I'm gonna remove this. And also different kind of shapes that you can use here. So if you wanna use arrows, you can add and apply these arrows to your designs here. Uh, and all these things can be changed. So when I go back to the artboard, I can change the color of this arrow here. If I wanna make this yellow, I apply this, and now this arrow becomes yellow. Wanna make it pink? No problem, apply this, and now it's a pink arrow. So these are all these options in here. And again, on each element, when you click the right button, you can also flip this, for example. Let's say we wanna flip this horizontally. Boom, the arrow points the other way, way around here. You can also add these other options like this. And uh, yeah, that's how you modify the designs. Now, here at the right side, you have all the other options for each element. So if you click on something, you'll see that you have the different options like line height, the effects like opacity, wobble, the blur. So let's say you want to blur text, you can do that as well. As you can see here, it makes it blurry. But if you want to blur an arrow, you can do that as well. So the arrow becomes blurry here, and you can do this with photos, with everything you like. So if you wanna add strokes, you can do that as well. You see that you're adding a black stroke to your designs. In this case, I can better make it white, something like this, or maybe a little harder pink like this. Um, you can add that. So all these effects can be applied, contours here, if you wanna have something like this. And then again, you can change the color as well. Choose this one. Uh, and simply apply all these effects to your designs. Now, when we go to the main menu here, you also have some other add-ons. One that I like here is make QR code. So for, let me go over them. You have color gradient if you like to, you can animate a layer, you can mask pack, find colors as well. So when I click on find colors, for example, and I click on cat colors, uh, I first need to select an image. So let's say I wanna select 
this image in here get the colors now it's getting the colors from this specific image uh, that i can use so right now no, i'm not sure color copy these are not really good colors so let me select this one let me go to add-ons maybe i need to have a a better picture here so let me try to add another image in here so let's say we're going to add this image here quickly I'm going to go to add-ons, find colors, get colors. So I've used this before and then it was working perfectly. Yeah, so it is some kind of, you see, these are the colors that are being used here uh, in this image. So you can apply that to your design. So if you're working with a little bit more, yeah, this is a colorful picture. So I'm not sure why this is not working. Find colors. Let's see. Let's try it one more time here. Well, it comes up with these colors, so that doesn't make sense. So with some pictures, it probably works. With others, it doesn't work. Uh, wh what I wanted to show you actually here is the make QR code. So let's say you generate an ad or you're creating an ad design. You can say HTTPS and you can say timverdow.com, for example. And now I'm going to click on generate here. And what that will do is it will add a QR code to my design that I can add anywhere. So let's say I'm going to add this to the right top here. Um, now, when everyone scans this QR code, it will redirect them directly to my website. So it's that easy. Uh, it's a nice add on here. You can do that in here. Also, when you go to windows here, you can show or hide the sidebar here, show hide the third property here at the right side. So now I only have my canvas. You can move those windows. If I want to have them here again, I can show them. I can also work full screen. I'm not going to do that right now because otherwise my recording will mess up. You can show hide the player. So if there's a player here, uh, you can move that as well. And uh, yeah, that's basically um, what Imagely is all about. Let me go to modify here so you can trim some sp stuff in here, edit, undo, redo. So that's not very exciting, uh, but yeah, you simply save your design, click on export, and then you can decide how you want to export this. And this is what the front end is all about. Uh, everything that you've seen is included in the front. One thing that I haven't showed you, by the way, um, and probably I need another design for that. So let's go back and pick another design here uh, from the templates. So I think, um, let me see. Let's say, yeah, we can use this one is that it comes with AI. It's a, a little bit uh, hidden here. It's called Remix. And when I click on Remix, it allows you to remix the text. Now, I'm already through my credits, so that's probably why I haven't showed you that. But when I click on re Remix, it will re remix the text in here. It will create something different for you. It will write something different for you when I click on Remix. The same thing is for images. I can do the same thing when I have an image in here, for example. Uh, I can click on the image and I can say Remix as well. And then it will remix other images for me that I can use as well. The same thing is for images. Uh, I can generate images as well. So for example, I want to have a uh, uh, makeup artist. For example, I can do that. I can click on generate and then it will generate the images for us. Now, I think if I'm correctly, you're going to get uh, a quota, quota of five on the front end per month, uh, which per, I think per image or per text, it's 0 0.2. So that's basically uh, five, 25 credits what you're going to get per month. So that's not a lot. Um, but yeah. I needed to show you that because it is included. It is an option where you can uh, yeah, use that content writer. You can do the same thing as well. Remix here. You can write content. So you simply ask what to write and it will write it for you. So that's a nice extra feature, uh, but it is limited so that you know. So yeah, again, uh, that's what Imagely is all about. In case you're interested, check out the link in the description. Also, please hit the thumbs up if this video was useful. Consider subscribing to my YouTube channel if you haven't done yet. I do a lot of product reviews similar to this one. And for now, thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you in my next video. Talk soon. Cheers.